More now on that breaking news we've been following. Yeah, massive water outage affecting thousands of people here in Nashville. We have team coverage of this developing story. We begin with News Channel 5's Todd Walker at the smart screen. Yeah, guys, you can really see how big this area is. 15,000 people either have no water right now or very little and are asked to conserve it. The boundaries are Interstate 440 to the north, Harding Pike and Highway 100 to the west, the Williamson County line down here to the south, and then Interstate 65 to the east. But it also includes a Creve Hall over here. So a big area. This all began with a break in a 30 inch water pipe at a pump station off of Thompson Lane behind the Home Depot in that area. The pipe was installed in 1973, so it's really not that old as far as uh, water pipes go, but it uh, was made with material that's not used anymore because it tends to break. People in the affected areas are told to turn off their automatic sprinklers, no irrigation tonight, and only use water for drinking, cooking, and bathing. Metro says it is working on a temporary fix right now, but it will take time. And in the meantime, the fire department is stationing, stationing huge tanker trucks in this area, so it's ready to respond to fires while those fire hydrants have low pressure. And we still do have some water coming out of the hydrants. Uh, we have to deal with volume there. We have the capacity to pressurize that water to get it from point A, the hydrant, to point B where the fire occurs. So Metro estimates that the workaround that it's uh, developing right now, which is uh, stationing other pump stations around that area, it's going to take most of the night to put that in place. If you live outside of this shaded area, you're not affected at all. Your water has no problems. You're not being asked to confirm. It's only uh, to conserve. It's only these people inside here. And we just heard that uh, the Green Hills Mall is back open after being uh, closed for a while. Rory. Todd, thanks. Now, two water distribution centers have now been set up for anyone who might need it. News Channel 5 Jennifer Reyes is live at Hillsborough High School, one of those sites. Jennifer. Vicki, there has been a steady stream of uh, people coming through here. There's a truck that's going to go here past me uh, to get water. And right now, the rule is you get one case of water per vehicle. Earlier, they were giving two, depending on how many people were inside that car. They said they're going to be here until midnight. This video here will give you a better idea of what things look like a little up closer to the uh, Office of Emergency Management set up there for the water. People within the zip code affected are encouraged to come come here to get water as needed. They're hoping that people are not taking advantage of this situation by coming here if they're not affected by this. Uh, they are hoping to meet the needs of everyone affected, including the elderly. They say that they might make deliveries if necessary. There was an elderly woman who came here just a few minutes ago. She said she wasn't waiting. She, she told us that friends have been giving her water, but she ran out. Earlier, a friend of mine went somewhere where there was water and bought us some, and I've been through that. So I was glad to see that this is available. And like I said, they're going to be here until midnight, so you can stop here at any time between then and then tomorrow morning. They say they will probably start very, very early. If you do need some water delivered to you, the number to call is 862-8750. Reporting live in Green Hills, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD.